Hello, this is Tony with the Deco Network Client Services team, and today I'm going to walk you through setting up your payment gateway using PayPal for Deco Network 7.5. So the first thing we want to do is come to our admin section in Deco Network, and we'll head to settings. And from here, we want to click uh, payment methods. And under current payment gateway, we'll click edit. Once on the next page, under current gateway, we're going to select PayPal Website Payments Standard. Now, if you have PayPal Website Payments Pro, the following instructions I'm going to provide uh, are also valid for this option as well. So once you're on this screen, we want to go log into your PayPal account. Now, if your PayPal account, uh, your PayPal page doesn't look like mine right here, uh, you more than likely uh, have a personal account. So you can either upgrade your personal account by going to your settings and clicking upgrade to a business account and following the instructions from there. Alternatively, if you want to keep your personal account, you can create a new separate PayPal business account uh, with a separate email address. So once you're there and your screen looks like mine, we're going to go to tools, all tools. And if this is the first time you visited this page, you may have a quick walkthrough uh, instructing you on how to navigate this page. Uh, you can go through that process. And once you're on uh, this page right here, we're going to scroll down until we see API credentials right here. So we're going to click open. And now we're on the API access page. So under pre-built payment solution, we're going to click add or edit API permissions. Okay. And on this next page, under pre-built payment solution, we're going to click add or edit API permissions. And now we're on the Manage Permissions page. Uh, you may already have uh, a few third-party permissions already here. I, for myself, have eBay right here. And under this, we're going to click Add a New Third Party. It's going to open up a new page for Add Your New th Third Party Permission. And we're going to go back to Deco Network. And using these instructions, we're going to copy this bolded Payments API 1 PeakyCentral.com and copy that. Let's head back to PayPal. We're going to paste in this box right here and click look up. And now we're going to select our available permissions. And the ones you want to check are use Express Checkout to process payments. Process your customer's credit or debit card payments. Authorize and capture your PayPal transactions. Obtain information about a single transaction. And finally, just a little bit farther down, issue a refund for any prior transaction. Once you've clicked all these five boxes, click Add. And now you will get the green confirmation that you have successfully added uh, Deco Network permissions. So we'll head back to Deco Network. You'll need to enter in your email address associated with your PayPal account. Page style and use dynamic header image are options. If you have uh, customized pages with your PayPal checkout, um, there's more information at paypal.com slash customize on this. Uh, if you're not using this, uh, you won't need to worry about these two options right here. Direct capture is when your PayPal account captures the funds uh, from your sale. So if you have direct capture uh, selected as yes, it's going to collect the funds to your account at the moment of the sale. If you select no, you're going to collect the funds to your account when the item is actually shipped. And on override address, this will override the PayPal account address with the address entered through the checkout. Uh, this will allow you to have a verified address. Uh, this may cause problems during checkout if the customer has entered an invalid address. Further down the page, these are the list of credit cards that PayPal accepts. Uh, you simply pick which ones that you want your customer to enter. And once you do that, 
you're all set. And I'm just going to show you real quick what the final page looks like. And once you're all set up and saved, you click save, you will now see the PayPal logo uh, confirming that you have now properly set up your PayPal uh, payment gateway. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. Take care.